Boom. What's up, money geeks? I'm V here. Welcome to another video. So in this video, I want to show you guys uh, one of the key indicators that I use um, in my trading that's going to help you be consistent or at least guide you to know when to go in or when to go out. Um, alongside uh, my VWAP strategy, this indicator is really one of my key ingredients or one of my secret sauce that makes me a uh, consistent uh, trader. So I want to talk about that one in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to uh, trading, there's different strategies. Again, I've done a video here on the channel where I show you guys uh, my VWAP strategy. Um, so if you haven't already, I'm going to hook that video here so you can definitely go check it out. And I have an updated video coming up about the VWAP strategy. But this particular indicator I want to show you today, uh, I want you guys to add this to your arsenal of tools um, that you use for trading. So every trader has their own uh, things that work for them. So this is not a one size fit all. So um, usually when I tell you about stuff that I'm doing, I expect you to go try it in paper trading in some shape or form before you can start implementing it. And even when you start putting it into uh, practice, I want you to start small. Don't go a bigger position. Start trading small. Buy one or two shares, sell them, see what your entry point is, see what your exit point is. Then check, did you stick to your script? Did you stick to your plan? Did you go in with an idea as to, let's say you're getting in at $10, did you get the way you're going to get out? Did you say you want to get out at 12 or $13? If not, what is your backup plan if it doesn't get to 12 or 13? Do you, are you going to use a trailing stop? Are you going to use a bracket order? Those are some of the things that you have to uh, work in combination. But again, those are uh, things that I can cover in a separate video. But today is all about this one indicator that I want you guys um, to know. And this indicator is no other one but the stochastic indicator. So as you can see here, uh, stochastic, you can go read about it. It's a momentum indicator. And you guys know that I'm a momentum trader because um, I like it when the price of the stock is gapping. Um, they call it gap and go strategy or momentum, uh, momentum trading. That's my strategy. Again, you find what works for you. Find a strategy that works for you. So this is, again, for people that do momentum trading. So stochastic indicator, you can go uh, read about them. They actually explain how they do the calculation. I don't really care about how to calculate it because um, it's, it doesn't it does me no good. Uh, but I just want to see how it works. So I'm going to walk you guys through um, a particular example here using a stock, so we can actually see how this indicator actually helps me to be consistent, or at least guide me to be consistent. And again, guys, this is not just like a one indicator. Again, when it comes to trading. You know very well that it, you use this particular indicator alongside other indicators. So I use it alongside, obviously, my secret sauce here is the VWAP, this yellow line that you can see right here. I'm walking this one right here. That is the main thing first. And then second, and then you have volume, and then my stochastic indicator come in. So again, let me walk you guys through it. So the VWAP strategy, which uses VWAP, so if you can see right here, again, my personal take, if it crosses VWAP, I start looking at opening a position. If it's below VWAP, I'm not trading. I can buy below v, below VWAP for a potential swing trade, but not for day trading. I don't trade below VWAP. So let me show you guys how this works. Uh, again, if you can see down here, now this is really clear. Okay, so you can see down here, this is volume. So stochastic, so VWAP, stochastic, and volume, that is a deadly combination as to pinpoint when to get in and when to get out again in my experience so if we can just start right here i'm going to show you guys so market opens if you can see right here pulls back so this is uh ticket symbol riv and rivian that just came out um like yesterday so if you see market opens a pull back so for me i'm not looking at getting in at this particular point but see what happens here okay watch this uh when it pulls back if you can see uh k line and, and that uh, and the D line. So K is blue on my stochastic, and my D is yellow or orange, if you can see it right there. So watch what happens. So my K line is the goal line, and my and my D line is the outline. So in and out, 
K is indicating to get in and then my my D line is indicating to get out so depending on which one is on the upside again I'm gonna walk you guys through this so we can actually see how this really works so see right here market opens it pulls back okay watch where my K line start crossing over my D line to the upside if you can see it crosses right here at this point and somewhere right here look at how the stock bounces and starts squeezing back to the upside and you can see it continue that squeeze all to the upside and then test is VWAP. So for me, if I was looking at trading, I'll wait for this thing to test VWAP, but watch is how it fails right at VWAP. So the first test on VWAP, it fails. Um, and look at that, K crosses back to the downside, which means don't even attempt it. So I'm like sitting there watching and this stays underneath VWAP and then give again right here, it gets another attempt at VWAP and it reject so no confirmation for me so i'm not getting into this stock at this particular point again it pulls back watch what it does bounces again look at now k crosses to the upside look at that cross right there it crosses to the upside as we can see right here this is where it crosses and then tests vwap and this is where the magic begins confirmation first one minute candle to make a new high right there and we're up to the races so you can see here across it look at that volume v high volume comes right in and it pushes this thing to the upside so after the, after it breaks vwap here this candle first one minute candle makes a new high the next candle I, i'm getting in somewhere here so i get my order you get in and then watch what happens so in here i'll have a stop loss or i can have a, a trailing stop but in this case you can do a bracket order depending on your style again you get in watch it right here it's just i'll call this a yo-yos so it goes up and down up and down but notice the trend is heading up so at this point uh my stop loss is somewhere down here so i'm not worrying about uh up here so i'm still giving it room to breathe so it keeps it keeps trying and at this point watch where it goes all the way to let's say 121 122 right here um at the top here watch stochastic again right here stochastic is like you see high volume spike and then the next volume drops drastically that is a good sign like hey time for you to take profit watch again volume spike and then the next candle look at that volume completely drops that means get out so at this point you get out and look at stochastic again k is crossing to the downside and what happens it flushes so you could have sold up here and take some profit, secure some profit. If you probably were using a trailing stop or whatever, it'll kick you out uh, when it flushes down here. So, and then it flushes down, look at this grind again. So uh, right here, consolidated along this line and then crosses back to the upside and then the trend continues again, it starts to go up. Again, um, gets to the top here, crosses to the downside, flushes, or, or pull back i wouldn't say flush right there because that's not this is a flush right here but this is just kind of a pull back and then um another good entry point for this that you can probably see i'm going to bring this right here so you guys can actually see so watch this right here um it pulls back all the way below vwap which obviously means do not touch crosses vwap fail why i would get in here because even even though it crosses VWAP, it didn't give me the confirmation. You see the dojis right there? I'm going to zoom in so you can see. See those dojis? I don't like that. I want to see a full, fully formed candle that will tell me that's confirmation, at least at that point. So it crosses all these dojis. I'm like, nope, I'm not going to touch it. So I'm going to wait. Um, as you can see, obviously my weight was good because um, right here pulls back below VWAP again. And then test v wipe here doji 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 still i'm not getting in right here when it, it, it pulls back a little bit right here next one minute candle set a new high next another next candle again set a new high so at this point i'm looking for an entry somewhere right here and you can see if you get in here it goes up there if your stop loss is way down here so you're good it, it, it pulls back a little bit but it's still trending up as you can see, still trending to the upside. And at this point, 
I'm if I if I'm in a trade, I'm moving my stop loss and I'm following this slowly. Or you can just set a trailing stop. But the reason why um, for a stock that I really move this kind of zigzag way, a trailing stop will probably kick you out um, faster if you put in a very tight trailing stop. So usually somewhere between three to five percent would be ideal for a trailing stop. But you make your own decision because if you if the money is in your account, you see that you, you're profitable, you don't want to give back 5% of that um, unless you are a greedy savage. So you can collect that money and wait for another opportunity. Because what kills a lot of people is they get in, see profit, they, they're not thinking about securing that. They all they, they see like green, everything is like it's green all the way. It doesn't work like that. It can turn around and flush it. So always make sure that. The bird that you have in your hand, that's secure before you start chasing another one. So um, that's it. That's it for this video. But again, I just wanted to show you guys. So again, the combination here would be volume and then my my actually VWAP volume and then stochastic. That's how that combination um, really does work. And then one little nugget for you guys. Each time you're trading and you happen to see, you see volume spike drastically like right here um, you have to keep an eye on that one but then one trick when there is a spike in price let's say the price just suddenly jump and the volume doesn't follow suit that is a no no that is a classic sign of a reverser so at that point some people would probably be like oh the, the, the volume just or oh, the price just spike I want to get in before it keeps spiking no the price will spike and then volume doesn't follow, that means it's reversing. And the next thing you know, it's gonna turn around and flush right in your face. Again, you can see that right here, where if you can see right here, price jumps up, but volume doesn't follow. Um, and this candle right here, and reverses, and all we had was a downtrend. So um, stochastic indicator, that's a really good tool to have in your tool set of uh, volume and VWAP, those three indicators will guide you to know exactly when you want to go in and when you want to you want to go out. So that's something that you want to keep an eye on. And again, guys, these are tools that you have to try them. Um, they work for me. Doesn't mean that it's going to translate to working for you. You have to try them in maybe in a simulator or paper trading. And then also, once you start trading using these indicators, uh, make sure that you actually start small. Try maybe with one or two shares before you jump in and start buying bigger size. So start small, test it, see if it works. So that way your losses are really minimal if you have any loss. So that would be something that you can definitely do that would help you with your trading. Again, let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Do you currently use uh, Stochastic or do you currently use any of the indicators I mentioned here, VWAP, um, as well as volume. Yeah, let me know again in the comment section uh, what you think. If you're new here, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell too. You don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, uh, Mumu right now has a crazy promotion where if you sign up and deposit any amount, uh, $1 all the way to $100, you get five free stocks at no cost to you. I have the links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.